は。日本語の勉強、頑張っていますか ?Welcome to l i g h t j u k u Online. I'm your teacher, Sayaka. Today's lesson's topic is if condition. ko, ba, tara, and nara. I got the question from one of my students. Which one should I use? I want to know. Because sometimes we say tara, sometimes we say nara, but it's not really, there is no clear line to understand when you learn individually. So today, I'm going to explain all four conditions in this video. And at the end of the video, you will know which one to use for certain situations. In this lesson, I'm going to share three things. One, use of toba, tara, nara. We are going to look at those conditions from two angles. One is present future tense use, and the other is the past tense use. It's important to see these two angles when you look at the condition because it's not the same. The second is characteristics for each condition. With the example sentence, so that you will have clear and simple understanding for each condition, and that will help you which one is appropriate for the situation when you speak. The third is if condition for unreal or not probable situation. Something did happen and I wish it didn't, or something didn't happen, I wish it did. That kind of expression. There are two things I want to mention before start. One, I'm not going to teach conjugation in this video because the purpose of today's lesson is to see all four if conditions from above to get wide range of understanding so that you know when to use it. The second, you can actually get the slides from my Instagram account. This is my Instagram account. Search me, find me, get the slide, follow me. Come back to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Are you ready? So, let's start with t h Okay, start with to, present, future. If condition, you have sentence one and to, sentence two. Present, future means the sentence two is present tense or future tense. That's what it means. And to's characteristic is automatic. Fact in selection and sentence one happened and sentence two is going to happen a hundred percent sure. That's the character of to. Very important thing when we look at the condition.、Uh, please look at the green square. It says sentence two ni ishi hyogen dame. Ishi hyogen means nani nani shitai, tabetai, taberu tsumori, tabero, toka, tabete kudasai, tabe yo. Those are called ishi hyogen. And to condition, you cannot use ishi hyogen in sentence two. Let's take a look more detail. Ichiban is the fact. Ichi to ni o tas to san ni narimas. That's the fact. Yamada san ni meru o okuru to すぐ返事が来る。Every time you email Yamada, Yamada responds right away. That's every time, so it's the fact. So you can say, Yamada さんにメールを送るとすぐ返事が来る。2番 is the automatic instruction natural phenomenon. That's also と characteristic. Example, ボタンを押すと爆発します。Bakahatsu is explored. So that's automatic or instruction or machine instruction. Second, Masugu itte, migi ni magaru to, konbini ga arimas. That's also the fact or giving instruction. That's good for to. The third one, Haru ni naru to, sakura ga saku. That's the phenomenon that's good for to. Sanban, have it. Occurs repeatedly. That's something about you do normally, like as a habit, then you can use to. Tenki ga i to, sampo ni ikimasu. That's good for to. Yonban, the sentence one, you use the negative nai, then sentence two will be not good or warning. That's good for to as well. 
。Example. お金がないと困ります。今すぐ起きないとバスに乗り遅れるよ。That's also to use. Now, to condition in past tense use. There are three pointers. One, discovery unexpected. Example, 冷蔵庫を開けると金魚がいた。金魚 is goldfish. So this is unexpected and discovery and it's like, oh my god, situation. You can use to. 冷蔵庫を開けると金魚がいた。The sentence too has to be past tense. Another one, 気がつくと2時だった。Like you are walking on something so forecast that you, you lost track of time. Then, oh my god, it's 2 o'clock. 気がつくと2時だった。That's the to use. Second is old habit you used to do. So it's like a your habit in the past. 子供の頃、夏休みが来るとよくディズニーランドへ行ったものだ。So you are kind of remembering what you used to do in the past. The third one is consecutive action. This is not really a condition, but I'm just gonna put it out because you will hear it when people use it. And then I don't want you to think this is a condition. This is actually consecutive action. Like one thing, another, and another. Example. 彼は家に帰ってくると冷蔵庫を開けてビールを飲んだ。came home, opened the fridge door, and drank beer. Next is back condition. Sentence one, ba, sentence two, present, future. The characteristic of back condition is logic and theory. Let's take a look at the details. There are four points of this grammar. One, logic and theory. 話せばきっとわかってくれる。ボタンを押せば爆発するよ。爆発 was explode, right? So, ボタンを押せば爆発するよ。That's the logic of the machine. Second is habit occurs repeatedly. Example. うちの犬は知らない人が通ればワンワン吠える。ワンワン、ワン。うちの犬は知らない人が通ればワンワン吠える。That's the habit or occurs repeatedly. That's why you can use it. That's the theory or logic, right? And second, 天気が良ければ散歩に行く。3番、the form is 何々はいい ?So asking what to do. That's the use. For example, 漢字を覚えるためにどうすればいいですか What should I do? What to do to, to memorize 漢字何時に来ればいいですか来れば is 来る。来れば。What time should I come? 何時に来ればいいですか So it's more like asking the opinion, asking the advice, and then when you answer to the question, you also use but to give advice. 9時に来ればいいですよ。毎日漢字を読めばいいですよ。No.4 is a tag at the end.Example, やってみれば、先生に聞いてみれば、as advice.In English, it will be, why don't you try it or why don't you ask teacher? Bad condition, you cannot use 意思表現 same as と、何々したい、何々するつもり、何々しろ、何々してください、何々しようは使えません。You cannot use it. 意思表現 in sentence too. Take a look at this. ご飯を食べれば薬を飲んでください。It's not the theory or logic. That's why you cannot use 意思表現 Another one. 沖縄へ行けばダイビングしよう。That's also hen, weird. So you cannot use 意思表現 in sentence too. But, 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 always, always exception. Except sentence one が negative or adjectives or different subject in sentence one and sentence two. I will explain in the example. わからなければメールしてください。メールしてください is 意思表現 But In a sentence one, we use the negative form, わからなければ、わからなければ、メールしてください。That's okay. 
Second, adjectives. 寒ければ窓を閉めてもいいですよ。寒ければ窓を閉めてもいいですよ。Adjective you can use 意思表現 in sentence to. 明日暇ならデートしよう。明日暇ならデートしよう。That's also good because 暇 is not adjective and you cannot use ば for noun and not adjective. So you use なら。Then you can use デートしよう。The last one is different subject in sentence one and sentence two. 父が OK と言えば私はトムと結婚したいと思っている。So the sentence one subject is 父 father. So he said OK, sentence two, 私 as a subject, 私はトムと結婚したいと思っている。That's 意思表現 It's OK because sentence one subject and sentence two subject is different. That's the exception. Next is ba and the past tense. There are two pointers. One, old habit used to do. So same as to. Example, 学生の頃は冬になればスキーばかりしていた。学生の頃は冬になればスキーばかりしていた。学生の頃 when I was students, 冬になれば Uh, winter comes, ski ばかりしていた。I used to ski all the time. You can actually switch to to as well. Second one, realization. Example, よく見れば彼女はあまり美人ではなかった。What are example? It's funny, but anyway. よく見れば彼女はあまり美人ではなかった。Means, you thought that that lady is so beautiful. But、uh, you had a chance to see her very closely and they realize, huh, よく見れば彼女はあまり美人ではなかった。Second one, よく考えてみれば答えは簡単だった。よく考えてみれば答えは簡単だった。That's also realization. You were solving the problem at the time. You were stressed out or you were panicking, so you couldn't see the solution or answer to that problem. But later on, when you think about it and then look at it and then you realize that, oh my God, the answer was so simple. Then you realize that you can say, よく考えてみれば答えは簡単だった。So these are the bad conditions in past tense use. Next is Tara condition, present and future tense. The characteristic of Tara is S1 may or may not happen and spoken only. Good thing is Tara condition, you can use Ishi Hyogen in sentence too. Nani nani Tara, mhm, shitai, nani nani suru tsumori, nani nani shiro, nani nani shite kudasai, nani nani shiyo. So it's so free to use. You can use ishi hyogen or just the fact as well. Let's take a look at the detail. Ichi, sentence one may or may not happen. Example, ashita ame ga futtara, game wa chushi des. Ashita ame ga futtara, ゲームは中止です。So at this point, we don't know, but it's saying that if it's rain, game will be cancelled.Second one, 宝くじで1億円が当たったら、1億円 is a lot, a lot of money. 宝くじ is a lottery. So 宝くじで1億円が当たったら、仕事を辞めたい。That's the 意思表示。宝くじで1億円が当たったら仕事を辞めたい。That's okay in this condition because Tara can take 意思表現 in sentence too. Second is one time only most certain condition. What I mean by that is the sentence one's condition is most likely to happen. Then you have sentence two. Example, 仕事が終わったら飲みに行きませんか仕事が終わったら飲みに行きませんか飲みに行きませんか飲みに行く is the expression go drinking, go out for drinks. 
That's 飲みに行く飲みに行きませんか Second one, 3時になったらミーティングを始めます。3時になったらミーティングを始めます。The third one, このボタンを押したら爆発するかもしれないですよ。The number three is a tag at the end. 試してみたら先生に聞いてみたら tag at the end. Do you remember we had this before? That's but. 試してみれば試してみたら先生に聞いてみれば先生に聞いてみたら Why don't you try? Why don't you ask? These are the condition t a l a used in present and future tense. Remember, spoken only, and you can use 石表現 in sentence too. Alright, l next is t a l a in past tense use. There are two points here. One is One time event, one time only. Example, 宝くじを買ったら1億円が当たった。当たった is you actually win. 宝くじを買ったら1億円が当たった。It's just one time thing. It's not like repeatedly, repeatedly happening. It's just one time thing. That's why it's tara. It's good. You cannot use to or ba. 宝くじを買ったら1億円が当たった。The second one. 食べ放題に行ったら3キロ太った。食べ放題 is all you can eat and drink. That's kind of a restaurant. So, 食べ放題に行ったら3キロ太った。Okay? 2番。By chance or unexpected or discover. Do you remember when we use this, the other condition? That was to. So it's same as to. コンビニへ行ったら社長に会った。That's unexpected or by chance. コンビニへ行ったら社長に会った。このボタンを押したら急に動いた。So you were dealing with some kind of machine that it wasn't working, but you push the one button and then start moving. So it's like by chance. Then you can say, このボタンを押したら動いた。That's the use of Tara in past tense. The final one, Nara in present and future. Nara's characteristic is topic. Topic as in like, speaking of which. That's the one. Speaking of which is Nara. Sentence two, speaker's conclusion. And nara, you can use ishi hyoji in sentence too as well. That's pretty good. One more thing, nara in spoken, we say n d a t t a r a n d a t t a r a That's why you get confused with tara, but it's actually nara. Let's take a look at the details. Ichiban, sentence one happens, sentence two, or sentence two happen, then sentence one. Sentence two happen and sentence one. That's、uh, different from others. Nara is different in this situation. For example, Tokyo e iku nara isho ni sky tsuri o mini iko. Tokyo e iku nara isho ni sky tsuri o mini iko. So the sentence one happened, Tokyo e iku sky tsuri o mini iku. So that's one happened and then two happens. But the second one, 東京へ行くなら、おしゃれな服を買おう。おしゃれ is、uh, fashionable clothes. おしゃれな服。東京へ行くなら、おしゃれな服を買おう。In this case, you buy the fashionable clothes, then go to Tokyo. So the sentence one and sentence two, the timeline is actually sentence two happened and sentence one happened. That's a little different from others. Number two, topic that already indicated in sentence one. Then speaker's conclusion in sentence two. So that in the sentence one, in English, in English translation, it will be speaking of which. Let's see an example. A, so there are two people talking. A says, Okinawa e ikun desu yo. Okinawa e, Okinawa e ikun desu. And B say, Ah, Okinawa e ikun nara, Okinawa soba o katte kite kudasai. 
沖縄へ行くなら、沖縄そばを買ってきてください。そうだ、沖縄へ行くなら、so speaking of going to 沖縄、then please get the 沖縄そば for me. The second example, A says, おいしいラーメン屋さん知ってる And then B said, ラーメンなら一風堂がいいですよ。ラーメンなら一風堂がいいですよ。So speaking of ラーメン一風堂 is the best. In this use, nara is the only one that you can use. All right. The third one, sentence Y may or may not happen. So same as other condition like ba or tara. トムが行くなら僕も行こうかな。So I'm thinking about going to the party, but I'm not really sure. But I heard トムが行くなら僕も行こうかな。That's the use. Nara in past tense. We do not use nara in the past event. For example, 子供の時みんなが集まったなら花火をした。花火 is the fireworks. 子供の時みんなが集まったなら everyone gather, we did fireworks. We don't use nara for this kind of sentence. Another one, 食べ放題に行ったなら3キロ太った。That's weird. So we don't use nara in the past event. But always, always exception. Nara in past tense for not real, unreal or not probable situation. For example, 彼の浮気を知っていたなら結婚しなかったのに。That means You did get marry him, but you wish you didn't. If you knew, 浮気 an affair. 彼の浮気を知っていたなら結婚しなかったのに。That's a regret. The second one. あと10分あったなら最後まで答えをかけたのに。In reality, you couldn't write all the answers, but you wish you have extra 10 minutes, then you could have Finish all the problem. あと10分あったなら最後まで答えをかけたのに。In this case, you can use なら。The last one. If condition for not real, unreal, or not probable situation. Present future sentence. こんな時トムがいたらどうにかしてくれるのに。こんな時トムがいればどうにかしてくれるのに。こんな時トムがいるとどうにかしてくれるのに。こんな時トムがいたならどうにかしてくれるのに。In this case, you can actually use all of the condition. It's not wrong. But for me personally, I would say いたら and いれば。Second one. ボスがもう少し優しかったら会社を辞める人が減るのに。ボスがもう少し優しければ会社を辞める人が減るのに。ボスがもう少し優しいと会社を辞める人が減るのに。ボスがもう少し優しかったなら会社を辞める人が減るのに。You can use all of the conditions for in this case. But for the past event, you cannot use to the toes characteristic Sentence one happens, sentence two is like 100%. If it's the past tense, you already know what just happened, so you cannot use the hypothetical photo. Let's see. あの時、トムがいたらどうにかなったはずだ。So the reality is he wasn't there. あの時、トムがいればどうにかなったはずだ。あの時、トムがいるとどうにかなったはずだ。So that's hen. So, you cannot use to in the hypothetically situation in past tense. あの時トムがいたならどうにかなったはずだ。That's okay. Past tense, to, you cannot use. But other, otherwise, present and future, to, ba, tara, nara, you can use for hypothetical situation. So, we go over all the conditions characteristic and To answer the question, which one should I use for the situation?
My conclusion is Tala is your safe bet. But Tala is only for spoken, so sometimes you need other option. That's my four pointers. When you're giving the direction instruction, you're telling the fact, then use to. But remember, to cannot take ishi hyogen in sentence two. The second is when you're giving the advice or asking for the advice, you can use ba. Nani nani sureba i desu ka? Nani nani suru sureba i desu yo? That's the advice ba. And then speaking of which, and giving your conclusion in sentence two, nara is better. Ramen nara ippudo ga i desu yo. Okinawa e iku nara okinawa soba o tabete kudasai. That's only nara you can use. And then not real, not probable situation, like hypothetically, tara is the best because you can use the past tense and future present tense. That's my conclusion. That's all for today. It was a lot to cover, but I hope it was a good lesson for you. Next lesson, I'm going to give you a practice problem s for to, ba, tara, nara so that you can be more familiar and you can be more confident when you use those if c o n d i t i o n when you speak. Thank you for joining the class today. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.